Have you ever seen a blue bee before? I'm Jonas, the nature researcher for Runaway Play, and it turns out bees come in a number of different colors, including yellow, black, green, and blue. These are the blue-banded bees from Australia, but they have family members all around the world, so they're definitely something you can keep an eye out for in your garden. They are smaller than honeybees, and they also like to live singularly in burrows, not in big social colonies at all. The male blue-banded bees don't even live in a burrow at all. What they do each evening is fly to the ends of stems and bite onto it and then sleep under the stars. They do this so that as the sun starts to rise in the morning, they get warmed up first and can get out and get pollinating faster. Speaking of pollination, Blue-banded bees actually help us a lot as well. Aside from just fulfilling a nature role, they also help pollinate tomatoes, capsicums, and eggplants. And gardeners have realized that they can move blue-banded bees into greenhouses to help pollinate those crops. They do it even better than honeybees. Here's my challenge for you. Go outside and find a dry patch of earth and see if there's any bees living in it. Sweat bees, banded bees, and many others all like this kind of habitat. So if you find an embankment with these little holes in it, you very well might be looking at a little bee home. I'm Jonas, thanks for joining me, and I hope these little facts help you to continue being inspired by nature.